sure that we are occupied and the facility is here. Badala ya kuenda kwa hayo mambo, tuende tutengeneza pesa, pesa ni dollar and that is the way to go. And that way we shall be able to pursue our careers and earn a living and supplement our income, be able to facilitate our upkeep and support parents at home. So I would want to say that one of our major challenges, our chief guest, is internet. Because of the geographical area. And because you are rightfully sitting where you are, we will kindly request you consider Michuki. We have been discussing with the area MP and we are saying, can the fiber optic be extended to Michuki? If you get Because the only internet that we are able to get is a very expensive one. And we want to ensure that these particular youth that are here, our are ma digital. Wapate network, wafanye kazi, sidiyo? Hakuna aje akuzimi wangu wa network, kama ni aje? Eh, hiyo waifa ipifike hapa mechoki. I would want someone to say that we have a generator, a backup generator, that is 100 PVA. That generator, especially when our workshops are working, sometimes it overheats and is not able to support the operations of the institution. I can request, najua kuna shule wamepatua 500 PVA. Mweshmiwa, tunaomba. Ukitupatia mechuki, generate ya kusupport hata hiyo labi ya nyome tupatia leo. Tutashukuru. And we know it's going to come. Asante sana. Once again, I would want to say that uh, uh, I know my chair is going to elaborate on this. We were not given adequate time to come up with a new building. Actually, we had to sacrifice a lot of classrooms to be able to set up that lab. And it is not the only lab. Mweshmiwa if time, our chief guest, would have taken you, you see, the ICT component in Michoke. It's not a mean one. We have six laboratories here for ICT. And they are well done with the state of art, with the smart boards, and these students use them. And therefore, those particular laboratories have taken a lot of space and denied us a lot of classrooms. Right now, one of the strategic plans for the board is to put up a block so that we can be able to create extra classrooms at a cost of 45 million, which in this economic time, the board is ugling. They have saved 10 million. Tafadhali weshimua wenye wako hapa. Tutafutie ni hiyo imebaki. Tujenge hiyo nyumba na tuendeleze mchini. As a thing is I would want to say this as I wind up, that uh, we want to assure you, our chief guest, that we fully support the issue of the digital economy, the issue of the creation of online job as a Michuki fraternity, we are together with your ministry, together with the president of this country, and we stand to support that let us create jobs for the youth and to be able to build up in the economy of this particular country. We have already the youth that have been trained in the Ajina program, and so that lab is not going to stay idle. We have this already started with the ICT students, and the ones that were previously trained in the Ajira program. And I want to believe that from here as forth, the challenge lies with the students. Students, take up the challenge. Enda utengeneze pesa. Pesa yenye utatengeneza ni dollar. Dollar ni yako, unautua dollar ishuki, shiringi ya kenya ikishuka, dollar ifanyi nini? Dollar ishuki. So kindly, make online jobs, do the job, the lab is open, it's free to work for you, it has all the security measures. So kindly register accounts and use the lab. And once again, our chief guests, thank you so much for listening. Thank you, our guests, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to believe that our plea has fallen into beautiful years. Asante. And with that, I want to take this opportunity to welcome the Chairman Board of Governors, uh, Mr. Benson Gare to address this gathering. Chairman, Makofi ya Chairman Boja. Billy, Tatu, Uchea, Asante. Thank you, thank you, Madam Man. Yes, I know time is not on our side, but uh, I'll be quick. So our chief guest, Honorable Elio Dawaro, our CS, Ministry of Information, Communication and Digital Economy, our CS, Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, Madam Alice Wahome, our area MP, Honorable Peter Kehongi, our MP for the Goretti South, Honorable John Kerry, Buranga Senator, 
Honorable Joe Nyoto, the county representatives who are here, Board of Governors of Mechuki Technical Training Institute, the Chief Principal, Madam Anne Gogo, other principals present, members of the Kragi staff, students of Mechuki TTI, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Benson Gary Kamau, as you have heard. I'm the chairman of the Chuki Technical Training Institute. And when I see as if you can allow, I can just introduce the members of the board present very, very briefly. So please, board members, if you could start, I can introduce them. We have four of them who are here. On my left is architect Nelson Waura. He's our board member. Dr. George Okot is our board member. Madam Lona Wabai is our board member. And Madam Lady Eliano is also our board member. Those are the members present this afternoon. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you here today as the chairman to witness this important milestone in Juki TTI as the virtual, desk, virtual desktop infrastructure project is launched. I wish to reiterate that our institution is set to reap benefits from this project through its ability to empower the youth with access to digital skills and creation of online job opportunities. I sincerely thank the government of Kenya and all other stakeholders who have made it possible for our institution to be part of this noble project. As a board, we are committed to supporting the government policies and initiatives towards increasing access to TVET programs as well as assuring quality and relevance. I wish to appreciate the Public Service Commission for the nine trainer positions that we were offered in the recent recruitment exercise. I'm also appealing for posting of more PSC teacher trainers to our institution as the board is currently overburdened with having to employ 104 trainers, while the PSC trainers are only 38 as a result of transfers, promotions without replacements. If we get more PSC trainers, the high budget allocated to staff and monuments can be used to improve the training infrastructure and buy more equipment. With the increasing student enrollment in the institute, which now starts at 5,117, we plan to build a tuition block that will also have workshops and a library. The expansion will enable the institute to expand existing training programs and introduce new ones in line with the training skills demands. This is estimated to cost about 45 million shillings, of which we, we so far have put together 10 million. And as Madam Anne has said, we request assistance to realize the dream of the new tuition block. The Institute endeavors also to be a national polytechnic under the TVET program in its five years strategic plan. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Now we hand over the protocol to the county commissioner, Karibu Sana. CS, uh, ICT, and uh, Digital Economy on uh, uh, Oalo, CS, Water and Irrigation on Alice Wahome, the Senator of Moranga, Honorable John Yoto, uh, our area MP, Honorable Kehongi, and the committee chair, uh, KJ, and also the member for uh, of Parliament for the Greti, uh, the Chief Principal, uh, Security Team, ladies and gentlemen, Hamujambo, Habari Ajioni. Nafikiri kwa vile muda unaendelea kuyoyoma, mimi yangu itakuwa ni majate sana. Lakini kabla sijasema, yomba tuni wajulishe mai. My county security team took on a, a, 
Mr. Karyuki, Mr. Karyuki ndio County Police Commander. Tuko na Madam Cecilia, yeye ndiye in charge of criminal investigation in the county. Kwa hivyo Naona kuna watu wanataka kuwekwa ndani. Tuko na Abuga. Abuga is the simple commander in charge of the county. Unajua tuko kwa DCC wetu eh bwana Kemani is acting DCC. ACC wale wako na chiefs maybe mnaweza kusimama wa introduce ndio muonekane asanteni sana basi eh, kwanza ni sema majina langu naitwa Patrick Mukuria I'm the county commissioner Muranga na nataka ni sema kwamba tuko na bahati siku ya leo kwa sababu tuko na waziri wa ICT na digital economy na vijana wadogo mara nyingi tunasema wao ni digital sisi pengine sisi tuko wale wanaitwa semi digital tunajua tu kidogo tu lakini sasa tuko na waziri ambaye ndiye anasimamia mambo ya digital economy na niseme kwamba huu mradi utasaidia sana vijana and i'm very happy because this is one way of empowering our young people kwa hivyo na nyinyi wakati mnapewa hii mradi muichukue vizuri na muweze kukimbia nayo jambo la pili ni kwamba sisi kama watu wa usalama tunajaribu kuhaimiza watu and especially vijana mjiepushe na hii ya pombe na mihadarati na tumeona kwamba katika institutions mingi iko watu ambao wanazunguka huko karibu wakiuza mihadarati tumeona many universities in Kenya be it in Nairobi Thika ama Muranga ama institution kama hii kuna watu ambao wanajua hapa iko biashara mtawapatia biashara msiwapatie biashara na machifu pia na watu yetu ya, ya, ya security mjaribu kukaa chonjo because wakiona vijana kama hao wanataka kuwaletea pombe wanataka kuwaletea bangi na kadhalika ili waweze kuharibu maisha yao hamwezi e, kufanya hii jambo ambalo tumewaletea kutafuta kazi kama mnajiingiza kwa hayo maneno. Kwa hivyo bila kupoteza e, wakati ningependa nikomee hapo. Kwa nafasi hii ni mwalike rafiki yangu wa zamani e, ambaye ni mheshimiwa wenu bwana Kihungi ili aweze kuchukua program. Tum, tumkaribishe kwa ile mafomu moja. Mimi karibu mheshimiwa. Funga ungua. Sana, okay, asante sana uh, our uh, court commissioner our chief guest the CS ICT bwana Walo our CS uh, water and irrigation uh, madam uh, Addis Wahome our guest ambao ametutembelea uh, MP uh, bwana KJ na viongozi wote habari zenu Salimia hivyo bwana asifiwe. Okay, therefore uh, mine I would be will be very short. I know the CS is short of time, but we want to give him an ample time so that he can be able to talk to us and uh, introduce to us the new the program on Jitume, but I'll give you the area MCA. I'll give you a chance. Ukoje salimia wananchi in a very brief way. Alafu ndio tuweze kupeleka the other program. Karibu sana bwana MCA. Pigeni makofu. Okay asante sana mheshimiwa Kibuki CS wenye wako hapa Senator Members of Parliament Security team wenye wako hapa eh, all the guests and protocols of sam wanafunzi Mungu ni mwema wakati na kila wakati yeah as you have heard uh, Moses Mochiri area MC and first of all I was I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for finding time to come to this event. I also want to uh, urge each and every one of you to work hard so that uh, you can become a very important people in this uh, country. Najua mepewa kila kitu, na sasa najua mutasoma, si mutasoma? 
na ninajua mtapita vizuri na hiyo maneno ya computer zenye mmeletewa you be able to learn about the ICT about the digital work which is there na ninajua Mungu atawasaidia and you be able to work mimi kabla sijachaguliwa MCA I was working online I was a renowned broker niko nimesomea hiyo mambo ya writing na translation so hata nyinyi tukifanya hiyo kazi najua mkisoma na mfanye hiyo kazi as well as other there's many many jobs which are there online so sitaki kuongea mengi nikimalizia niwaambia hapa Bogoro tunasemaga kazi ni kusomea ama kwa kikuyu wera ndego thomera so hata sisi muendelee kufanya kazi muendelee kusomea Minajua, you become very important people in this uh, public. As I wind up, nimesikia complaint bills zimekuja kwa ofisi yangu. Moja ni mahali mnaendaka kupiga picha pale kwa ile mto Madhioya. Then I want to uh, to tell you hapo mnaendaka kupiga picha wanafunzi wanaaguka. We are going to face that area so that even even when you go there to take pictures, no student will fall on that site. Last day kuna hii maneno ya stima nimesikia kuna kelele kidogo hapa mambo ya security light si ndio so hiyo nataka kuhakikishia by tuesday eh we are ready for tuesday lakini si maandamano tuesday tuesday tutakuwa hapa na my engineers na zitotengeneza hizo security security lights zote na kwa hii budget kwa hii budget nimeweka kutoka pale gekoi primary baka pale yego tutaweka street lights ama ndio mwanae kwa ndio kwa rental houses huko tutaweka ndio tuhakikishe usalama wenu iko sawa sitaki kuongea mengi mungu awasaidie na walinda asanteni sana mungu awe thank you very much uh, mheshimiwa bosses kijana kijana ambaye is doing a lot si ndio uh, god bless you a lot kwa wakati huo nitamwitia kj Kijeni Waziri wetu wa ICT and Digital Economy CS Owalo our hero Simba wa Moranga the CS representing me to me digi magoro Korea cabinet the one and only the iron lady Alice Mahome our very resplendent beautiful and amazing principal madam Anne the security team and our invited guests MTTI eh yeah. MTTI yeah. MTTI yeah. MTTI yeah. oh it's a great honor I've always wanted to come to this institution and I'm so glad that I'm here today and let me tell you you guys have pleasantly surprised me this institution is fit to be called a national institution than some of the institutions that have the tag national and I'm so proud today to be associated with this institution. What brings us here concerns me because I am chairing the committee of communication, information and innovation in parliament. If you want to imagine what we do, this is the committee of the future. Waziri Owalo, there was a generation that used to log in and do online work and then log out. I want to tell you that in front of you is a generation that never logs out. Our wana kuaga online full time 247 365 every day. The request by the principal that this institution should get more wifi issue. The first assignment that I would want you to take up 
and want you to understand why we are saying that we're in the fourth industrial revolution. When you get to that lab, try and understand what the first industrial revolution was and what the impact it had. This is the revolution that brought about mechanization. It is at this time that man was able to harness the power of steam and make it power that could produce. And with that, man made a very big leap in development. The second industrial revolution brought about what you call mass production. It came with electricity. And harnessing the power of electricity <coughs> changed the world for good. I want you to imagine this world without electricity. That was the second industrial revolution. In my living memory, I witnessed the third industrial revolution. This is what is called the dot-com. The coming of electricity, electronics, and the internet. And I remember, when I was your age, 17 years old, I was teaching computers in a girls' school in Meru. And I used to tell those girls that one day in the future, your post office, your newspaper, your radio, your telephone will all be in the computer. That was many, many years ago. Little did I know that these things will not be housed only in a computer. We were able to move from the big screen to a smaller screen that was the desktop computer, to a laptop, to a palm top, and now that technology is in your pocket in the form of a smartphone. That was the third industrial revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is the internet of things, artificial intelligence, robotics, and this is the world we want to introduce to you by bringing these digital labs to MTTI so that you, as a global citizen, are able to connect and interconnect, produce, and be productive right from here at MTTI without minding the historical, traditional, and geographical borders. Now you can do work here, and you're working for a Russian company. You can work here and connecting with Silicon Valley in California, in America. You can work from here and you're connecting to Luanda in Angola. With that, MTTI, do you appreciate this new love that is being brought to you here? Yes. Do you appreciate Waziri El yes. Do you appreciate the efforts of the one and only His Excellency the President William Samoy Ruto? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there and challenge you to utilize this love so well, taking into cognizance that uh, lesson that we learn from the parable of talents. This institution has in excess of 5,000 trainees, and we only have gotten 100 computers. To him, that much is given, much, much is, is expected. expected. Madam Principal, make good use of this lab so that you can convince us who are in this sector to add another 100, yet another 100, and yet another 100, so that we are able to satiate the need for connectivity in this world. I want to leave it there, but I know some of you have not seen me in many years. Unasikiaga ati nilikuwa nafanya ridiculous. Kasa ningekuwa ridiculous, leo ningekuwa naigiza nani? Kibaki, kibaki. Niko mtu wale nituma na salamu, wakaniambia nikifika hapa, nifikisha salamu zake kwa sauti yake. Nifikisha hizo salamu? Ndiyo. Nifikisha salamu zake? Ndiyo. Ule jamau wanza kuesabu na hiki dole. Haliniambia nikifika hapa, ni wambie. Serekali hii. Serekali hii ya bayo mulichagua hii ya mahasla hii. Serekali hii taakikisha watu yetu wameunganishwa ndani ya mutandao. Hadi hiyo wakati watu watanza kuzema hii MTTI haiko geshagi, watadani hiko Silicon Valley. Yini mahasla nataka ni wajulisha hii. Hii mambo ni kujibanga my friend. Ndiyo ya! 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 Ndiyo ya!
Tupote kuanzia chini tukipeleka wapi? Kuanzia juu wapi? Chini. Moto? Na ni serikali ni ya moto map. Nimekubaliana nayo. Na umekataa hii mambo ya kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa. Wewe tukalime kwa love. Hiyo tutengeneze mambo yetu kwa internet tukue citizens wa leo. Wewe unapenda sana kubarikiwa sana. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, our CS, let me acquire Sisikama Wakani Wakagema uh, and the MTTI, that is the Duke Technical, the Rakshkuru Sana, was above Yapaka Wakonai, Yakuaji, the Janae, Kazi, Unalete, Kazi, Katika, uh, where we are. Na tunajua hii program kama serikali yetu vile tulisema ya kwamba wakati tulikuwa tunatafuta kula we will create job for our young people. This is one of the best uh, intentional and also deliberate and something that is clearly planned ya kutafutia vijana wetu kazi. Tunashukuru sana kwa ajili ya the handling computers waziri we contacted you wakati ulipota, uh, I think the program was working with 50. Na wakati sisi kama watu wa mechuki tulikuja kwako uliweza kutusikiza na ukaongeza mechuki ikaweza kupata 100. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru zaidi because of the 100 computers do bado tunaomba ya kwamba after utilizing them tunigeomba uweze kutuongeza ingine. Hii ni hali ya kuanjiri vijana wetu. Tunakubuka rais Juzi amekuwa na na uh, chancellor wa German na wakati alikuja hapa nchini the, one of the discussion is on how we will be able to create employment we can work a government to government ya kwamba vile serikali yetu ni na negotiate your work and that's what in that photo ya kwamba serikali kama ya Germany, US or all over sasa sio nyinyi kuwatafuta serikali ndio inaenda inatafuta kazi ina negotiate with the government it comes to that photo mnafanya kazi unalipwa directly as a person kwa hivyo ni jambo moja ya kushukuru sana na uwapie rais kama wananchi wa Kangema tunashukuru na tumefurahia sana kwa sababu ya the program uh, uh, bwana CS uh, ile nikisema ya kwamba because I know you are moving with the time uh, ni ya kwamba uh, on issues to do with the supporting the institution I think uh, even the CDF has been working to support the institution and I think in this budget uh, madam I'll put some money to support the, the construction that you are doing but also as I do it mugiopa CS mugienda kwa mashogu kama anaweza pata kitu atuwekee kama mechuki tekniko mnaweza muongelea si ndio kwa kabla mkipata na mwapie mmeona shule there are 5000 we extremely need the city might not put a lot of money but if we can get some more from the minister of education we can appreciate a lot ingine ambayo nikisema ni ya kwamba is the issue of staffing the staffing you are how, at what percentage that percent that percent for this institution is too low. I think uh, CS, I'll do a letter to the, 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 to the CS, but I wish you can also support me on that so that we can be able to get more staffing. Because now, uh, employment, uh, the board teacher, uh, trainee, trainers, is becoming very expensive for the institution. Therefore, I wish you can be able to support us. I'll do a letter. I'll join you. I'll come through your offices so that you can support me to the, through the CS uh the cs uh, education lingine ni kwamba what we are planning to do as locals around here we want to do a market a market that market was promised by uh, the deputy president when we were doing a campaign when he was going around we did our meeting around here at karugia na wakati tulifanya ile mkutano pale wananchi wako awea Walituambia tutengeneze kambarambara imezunguka uh, shule ya kiawailegi Iwaje imezunguka, apalafu imetokea pande hile Siyo mimi nimetengeneza? Sika barabara kako? Kwa hivyo hiyo barabara already mimi nimetengeneza Ile ingine tuliaumbwa ni tupate a market Pande ya market hatukuwa na shamba Already shamba tumepata Thank you MCA, we have worked together Tumeweza kupata shamba ya kufanya a market 
what we wanted to do is as we design the market we can decide also for the digital uh, 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 room maybe hall a digital hall so that maybe the institution might not be able to accommodate people from outside a lot because there are so many and the computers are few when we design it i'll talk with jenga and i think where we can you can be able to support us through the cs uh the cs uh, uh housing infrastructure and housing as we design it we can design with a hall so that we can be able also to do uh the digital around this village the village has a lot of people and can be able to assist why go when we'll be working on design i will this a proposal but i wish you can give me support on that so that in the market we have market maybe in chini but they are due to nakuwa na hall about the kuna program ya digital Ringine ni hiyo tumeomba ya ya fiber cable fiber cable imepita i think the other road imeenda baka kangema kwa hivyo bwana cs i know you will be able to support on that support us so that we can have a fiber cable about in uh, from kangema ikienda moranga so that now the institutions around this area can be able to support madam cs uh, water juu mekuja lazima tukwambie mambo ya maji tukwambie mambo ya maji uh issue to make fanya another a pipeline a pipeline from uh, uh there is a line up by naenda keharo we did a pipeline for four inch specifically for this school because of the number lakini iko juu hapa but sai na kile inaingianga inaingia kidogo ile solution tapata hapa ni borehole sijai kwa ba borehole eh if we can get a borehole specific yeah they did the one was it was done i don't know how it was done therefore i think it can be you can say the engineers from at water maybe the city in any way find any way find your bowl yeah yeah i think the engineers can come and uh, uh, investigate what happened kama itawezekana we dedicate we do a dedicated line for this institution yeah there is a pipeline going to keharo we can do a dedicated line for this institution abaya yeah, 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 ikuji kitumika na watu wengine because the numbers are very high and sometimes our students wana pataga hiyo shida if we can be able to get a dedicated line that one can be able to assist us uh ile ni kuomba ya kwamba ni hawa uh, wananchi wa hapa dio nyanjege iko na nashukuru juzi ulikuwa pande hii eh, nyanjege maji tumetap imeteremka vizuri the main pipe lakini the distribution dio atukupata tuko na watu wengi hapa around this area gedongori about hawajapata maji sio about hawajapata connections za nyanjigi madam cs tugekuomba utushikirie katika phase 4 ya nyanjigi ukisha finance phase 4 ya nyanjigi will be done kwa hivyo hiyo tunaomba ilikuwa inakuja around between 40 and 50 million kwa hivyo madam cs jume kuja wanaiti hapa nisipokuambia shida itarudi kwangu waje nikwambia kama tunaongea mambo ya masomo tusaidie na hiyo program ambao wako naye ya ya maziwa we can be able to do it very well when we have water watu wataweza kulisha ngombe alafu then we can do a circle whereby the farmers can be selling their milk at this institution the yogurt now can be able to be a partnership between the institution and the public lakini hapa inakuwa kagumu sana kulisha ngombe juu ya shida ya maji kwa hivyo maji na ponda kwa hivyo that's an area uh, madam cs unaweza tusaidia zaidi kwa hivyo madam sister uh, our cs bwana walo we are so happy we are so grateful i did a letter to your office i requested uh, a digital in for kangema i have a hall a complete hall yeah yeah you got it kwa hivyo juu umekuja kangema hata kama tuko na hii umekuja amechuki just support me that one for kagema town i have a hall i have everything the cable is there the jit cable is there the hall is there it's just now equipping i will support whatever i can do as a cda but i just want your support on uh, computers la mwisho tu ige kuomba hiyo si kuandika ni kona kmtc kmtc kagema is complete na jaribu ku manage my finances do hao wananiomba pesa ya kujenga nae KMTC wanataka kuanza September lakini nao wanataka hadi computers kwa hivyo I'm torn between the two nini nani nitasaidia nitapea KMTC ama nitapea michuki bwana bwana wao akinipea computer ya ya KMTC kangema hiyo pesa yote nitalivati ikuja pandei sasa kwa hivyo kama unaona uko na mtu ya kwanza hapa 
Wambia wanitafutia 100 juu hiyo shule tunafaa kuanza by September. Nikipata computers that part now will be able to respond eh, naweza badilisha I top up katika michuki. Sasa sawa. Mm. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki sana. Nashukuru sana kwa sababu ya this program bwana Walo abia laisi tunampenda. Si ndio tunapenda bwana William Ruto? Yeah. Yeah, Anatupeleka vizuri. Yeah. Mimi mnashika na mambo ya maandamano oh mambo kwa uh, na William Ruto. William Ruto. Ah, watu wamesumbua huyo mtu mpaka tunamhurumia. Yeah, Tumeona hii askari the country hata siku nyingine tulifika mahali tukasema ai Ah chilie kidogo amebeba hii nchi mpaka unaona ni kama amekwenda kidogo sio <laughs> tuna muhurumia but that guy the president of the country he want to perform he want to take this country to another level but hiyo kusumbuliwa imefika bali tumehurumia yeye si ndio wananchi yeah. kwa hivyo tunamwambia usiku na mchana mwambie tunampenda we are supporting the government na sisi hustlers we trust this government we take us far bwana wabariki sana kwa wakati huu nitamuita our senator bwana John Yoto atsalimie alafu ukimalizia utuitie our CS water thank you very much yeah. Thank you very much honorable Kihongi, uh, area member of parliament, uh, chief guest, our chief guest uh, at the CS for ICT, honorable uh, Elido Walo, our own very sister and the lioness of Moranga, CS Water, honorable Alice Wahome, Mwenzangu, Nduguyangu, KJ, Naoneato maamenye rugaru wale uke bulo titiga wano mungu mungu. Badu anakumbuka kuigiza the principal, the board led by my friend Gary and this is not a leopard actually is Gary a human being. Mwana kita wali yutuna kili enyamu. The principal and the whole girl team, girl team led by the county commissioner walimu wote na wanafunzi wa huku michuki ya mjambuni wana yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena mwokozi thank you very much I do not have much to say I just came here because I support what the government of William Samoy Ruto is doing because this is the government that is being served by waziri Eludo Walo so when we see the Jitegeme uh, computer lab that was launched today, Ajitume, sorry, uh, that was launched today, we have a lot of thanks to the to the to the to the government of His Excellency William Samoyo Ruto. And that is why Waziri is here because he's our hardworking Waziri. So Waziri, we want to thank you. We want to thank you, Honorable Addis. I also want to thank Honorable Kehongi because he's a very hardworking member of Parliament. In the conversations that we have had here, the principal kept saying that they are in constant communication, meaning that Honorable Kihongi is very much concerned about what happens in this institution and indeed all the other institutions within Kangema uh, constituency. So, my brother, we recognize the very many efforts that you are doing, your, uh, your, your commitment to the service of the people of Kangema. May God bless you. Uh, so mimi sitaki niongeze ni sene mengi sana lakini tunashukuru nyinyi vijana mmeletewa sasa hizi tarakilishi mzitumie mpate kujipatia kazi because our economy is changing we cannot continue relying on white collar jobs and that is why this institution has grown astronomically that is we have why we have about five over 5000 students here and we are proud as people elected to serve the people of Morana because this is a gem. This is a gem in our county. And what I was going to say is that we need technical skills more than, we, than, than, than academic skills. And we are proud of this institution because it is equipping our young people with the same, with the very technical skills that we are talking about. So the lab that we have today, please utilize it, create employment, be self-employed. The other skills that you are getting here, please make sure that uh, uh, you uh, perfect them so that when you get out there, you will be able to self-employ yourselves. So I know much time is much gone. Uh, but I want to tell you that as young people, 
uh, tafadhali ni lazima mjiepushe na mambo ya ulevi ulevi wa aina yote na manake mmeona watu ndugu zetu kule nje namna ama jinsi walivyofanywa na ulevi na kwa hivyo tafadhali kama county commissioner alivyosema kuna wale ambao hawataki watoto wetu mema ambao wanaona kwamba hapa sasa kwa sababu kuna wanafunzi elfu tano ati kuna soko sasa ya kuuza vileo nyinyi msikubali na ninashukuru you know i was here the other day madam principal and i have noted that the ceo here is very strong the catholic the catholic action is also very strong and this, this is what we want we want our young people to anchor their faith to anchor their lives in the name of god because hakuna namna nyingine lazima ukae pale na mungu wako ushikilie vizuri manake hata wakati ukisoma ukisoma uwe na uh, mambo mengi uwe na ujuzi mwingi lakini uharibiwe na ulevi uharibiwe na mambo mengine ambayo, ambayo ni mabaya utakuwa hukujisaidia hukusaidia wazazi wako so I want to encourage you be very serious with matters to do with faith you must see to it that you are very faithful to your faith whether you are a catholic you are a protestant and i'm very proud to see how those particular uh, religious organizations are doing in this particular institution and this testimony that madam principal you are working very hard that you know i want to thank you uh, the board must be supporting you thank you very much the members of the board to wind up the major problem here because i was here the other day and you know and the honorable Gihongi has talked about it it's about staffing i hope because i know that uh, currently there are interviews happening uh, for uh, trainers in technical institutes i hope madam principal that uh, you have interviewed people you got nine you already have them we 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 will continue lobbying for more uh, trainers for this institution and other institutions within our county i mean the education committee at the senate and we are in constant communication we are going to talk to the peers because uh, of course your technical i mean uh, um, trainers are not under tsc i know they are posted by the uh, by, by public service of course under uh, the the state department for well, yeah vocational training so we are going to do what we can in the meantime asante ni wazazi ajaribu ekuo ajaribu ekuo ya kimona ni la mwana ya kuku ya kwanyu jiu hiyo ni tena haratu gata Moses, I forgot to recognize you. Thank you very much because you have promised that the county government is going to light up this place. What you forgot to tell them is that the amount that you people and the governor are expending on these are amounts that the senator looks for from Nairobi. And that senator is present here. So next time, tell them because of the funds that the senator of Moranga has looked for has sent us we will make this possible mose ke rikare ko mera ni fa wa ni ni de mera ira to ido te we ga gara na to ko na ka ngata wa marwa maga ki menya ga fafa ni ju ni tu bana yesu abariki sana it's now my singular pleasure and honor to invite the cs uh, for water honorable alice wahome to come and address the gathering and also call for us hakoni thank you very much karibu waziri Oh, I'm Maria. I get you not to worry. As I tell you, Sana, when I saw you, I'm a semi Joe. Semi Joe. Our senator Junyo to us at Sana Kwahayo. We have the two guests today. My colleague uh, Eliud Wano, our cabinet secretary for ICT and digital economy is the chief guest. And for that reason, I will speak very little. We have had quite a lot, especially from Mujube, Wahapa, 
my good friend also Kihungi, the senator, uh, is the owner of the facts, I agree. The others are implementers. Then we have the principal, very able, I really like your energy. I want to commend you and keep up the good job. Uh, the board chair and your team, Namuona Hapo, Nanina, you are here to decide Yana, and we're giving you a Kazi Hapa, Nime Kubusha, and Mashinua Kihonga, our county commissioner, Natim Yake, and our digital member of parliament, Honorable KJ, Mujubewa, Dagoretti. His grandfather came from here, Pure Kandara, but his home and constituency is Dagoretti South. Simu Mamona ni digital kabisa. Na adaya rani kandrone ile ile training and sanya hako mbele ameni chekeza sana. We really, all of us, are very delighted for this day. Habari zenu? Mambo? Mambo? Mijena o? Hai, warembo. Hai. Muko. Very good. We are closing and I'm sure that uh, maybe time is really running out. Uh, today is a good day because uh, our chief guest has been very instrumental in ensuring that we move very quickly. You can have a government project that is not moving. But this particular uh, digitization, he calls it, sometimes he says there is digitization and D and digitalization. Those are two words. I learned from him because me ya digitization. But now there is digitalization. Nini, you are able to make a difference. And the program is here. Jitume. I can only say that this is one of the best selection to go forward among the first sites to benefit, considering our CS, the number of students we have here in Michuki Technical Training Institute. This institute was the mentor for Kandara the Vocational Training Institute and they did a good job for me and we were able to walk along na tukamaliza yetu kujenga we now have about 500 students in Kandara. The principal is still here. <laughs> uh, my good friend. Ah, uh -huh. Oh, oh, you mercy. Uh, Masi is here, principal of uh, Kule Kandara Technical. She came to do uh, benchmarking, uh, and I'm sure she will catch up uh, uh, from a few of your leads. Now, it has been said, and you know, that the primary objective of this particular program, the virtual lab, is to learn to get the skill, the knowledge, and the technology. Number two, to acquire secure online jobs for yourselves. Nani kama sisi? If you can, I'm told you, I'm, I like the, the, the punchline. Eh, pesa ni dollar. Na dollar ni ya, ni yako. Please make sure that you don't lose the opportunity. And you know you can get in there and not understand how to secure the jobs. So from those who are successful, those who know how to do it, assist each other because I know the jobs are many. But also they require extra time to get into those jobs and also to input in terms of time. And because we here in Muranga, and all of you, whether you come from whichever side, because I know some of us have come from far, the culture here has caught up with you. We are hardworking. Na muna kubuka, mwenye jina hii la michuti, the late Honorable John, John, John Michuti, was one of the hard 
working ministers Kenya ever had. Kweli ama si kweli? And I wish he is here today to really see what this institution has become. But Mweshmua wa Kangema is equally hard working. And he's keen on education. And I will support him where I can. The letters that you're talking about, because our chief guest is here, pass over copies to him and to me. The Minister for Education is our colleague to Tachangia Kuskuma more numbers for teachers to Kiwa Namweshmua Eliud Waro our CS. There is a request about water. When I was seated here as a Minister for Water, Sanitation and Education, I was even wondering, these people, because we have no sewer line, must also be suffering in terms of sewerage. Uh, and I know it is a big challenge, especially with this kind of numbers. Then water, I'm sure you are taking thousands of liters per day. With 5,000, this is supposed to be a project of water supply and the sanitation on its own. So, tutaungana na mujubewenu kwa dire di amereka kio na if we require to do a separate line, we shall see how that one will be possible. But maybe we will start with, because it's faster to start with uh, more uh, analysis or studies, survey about the geological survey to see where the water is here. It is possible that the, the bongo that was uh, sunk did not reach the necessary aquifers because there is aquifer one, two, sometimes up to three. So if you reach the first one, inaweza kukudanganya maji natosha, arafu kute maji haito, haitoshi. So nitatumana immediately so that we can have the records. Now, if we have water, sufficient amounts, because above it's easy to tell, then we shall sink a boho under the instructions of the government of the Republic of Kenya, Nikiwa Musimamizi Wahio Ofisi Yamaji. So we will be the boho. The boho will be accompanied by solar. And I'm saying the condition is if we have water. And I just think that this area should have water. We'll be accompanied by solar instead of power to save the institution from the cost of power. And I will also supply storage tanks, 20,000 liters. Finally, Nyanjigi irrigation scheme. Najua when I came, wakati tulikuja na mweshinua pale kwa shamba wa, to the scheme, tulikuwa na wale ambaye hawakuwa wamefikiwa na our scheme. And we know the numbers are growing, but the water resource may not be sufficient to reach everybody. However, we agreed, we look for another extra budget. I have put 30, I think about 37 million shillings extra mweshimua kihongi for the expansion of that project in this budget 2023-2024. So we will be awarding the contract for the extra numbers. Na hapo, tutaendere hapo tu, because we say serikali ya yetu vile kenje ya mesema ni ya bottom. Muna kubuka? Bottom? Bottom? We are now implementing bottom-up economic transformation agenda. And it is going to the grassroots, coming here instead of staying in the offices and understanding where it is hurting most. Ni Marisa Niseme, the government is still firm. We have a government. We will not allow as a government impunity to rule this country. We have encouraged the president to stay on course, to reject distraction, and not to sit down with the people who are demanding 
to sit down by way of menace, threats, conflict, war, confusion, and loss of life, death, and destruction of property. You have seen people losing lives, and it is unfortunate that the country can be pushed to that level, taking into account that this is a Kenya is a constitutional democracy. I'm sure the students understand. Wazazi ni nasema ya kwamba, tutile hede toge te kiria president, na hivyo neto mwere te gudura ne wake, ate abere die gotisa tiso, near the million one of the last five years before gudura ne. Na nie tere ire, na ke hamia, aka enda ye mwenyewe, aka jipendekeza kwa wanainchi, waka kubari kumpatia kura, aka wa rais, former president akakubali na akapatiana eh, instruments zote za kufanya kazi ya rais kwa yule katiba imempatia hiyo nafasi and that is our president bona siasa ikakuja kusubua wananchi 4 5 months after neto korogama na president wito kana tutikorogama nake Neto e kwe na olito ta dirikari. Na olito siyo, ti igwe tura ure hile. Tura ako lile furoli, mudo kanie. Na hado hado kunyita nila, kweka siyasa kando, todo gedura no kefage ito nagativa. Na wado, hado hawe tekera rais, abrelie usokia furoli raini, ni kuanza vita ambaye haina maana, in the name of right to demonstration. Demonstration and violence and murder have nothing to do with each other. Demonstration should be peaceful. And because sometimes they confuse the youth, the youth are the ones who are majority who have lost lives. Nobody wants their child to die. Even me, I would not want to die. The country belongs to all of us, yes, but you are elected through the ballot, not through the gun, not through violence. When I got here, I see a ring, I go to my mother, my mother, Rais, the day I turn into a kid, to go and ask you, can I get a gun? Not to go and ask you, can I get a gun? I don't know, 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 Mwezimuwa kibungi, tulikuwa na yeye na kutoka hapo tumeenda ofisi ya our minister for infrastructure. Na nwe ya kako mweta ugo, taodo kage ma farasito siya mau mau ni ramu dhubura muno. Tumezumuza na waziri wa infrastructure na kabineti nesi ireti o horosio. Olea wa muireto soka nile hili yebesa siya kore kia farasia mau mau. Taodo ni matotina kora kwa. Besa, hatu kupata pesa yote. We have to charge igoti. Furuli wa kago na besa idia tuwe kagatia. Tore haga, you build the country through the taxation. Therefore, we have agreed we must maintain while we are organizing funds to complete the maumau mwefumua. You know we agreed that the contractors must be supported to maintain the roads the way they are. It's already made the gear, the net may add roads, correct? If we go to Tiriga Nero, we run it over the Hamwan Abere to Rutete, not today's day because it belongs to our CS. Who you, Yama Nirafiangu San Wazir Edward. Now, now you are, yeah, yeah. Si mnajua bila hata kuambiwa ile bahari ametoka. Na si yako hapa kazi. Kesho ni mimi nitakuwa pale upande ile ametoka nikipeleka maji. Bona watu wasikubali ya kwamba kwa kazi hakuna siasa. Tutigotukania siasa na wera. Tutafanya kazi kila pahali eneo letu la Kenya kwa sababu wanainji hawayuko kwa hiyo mambo ni kuletewa wanaletewa Edward karibu sana
Thank you very much, uh, Waziri. Uh, the, uh, please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, the the govern, gov, 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 uh, board of governors for the school, uh, Waziri Alice, you are Ebu Senator, local MP, Honorable KJ, my friend the chair of the ICT committee of parliament, the local administration, and the entire uh, Michuki TTI community. Good evening. Good evening. You know, I'm a bit challenged. I had got some good English words to speak, but after <laughs> your senator has spoken, <laughs> in fact, when he was speaking, I was wondering, where did this man go to school? Because I didn't meet him. I meet him at Mas I didn't meet him at Maseno School. <laughs> but thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Both myself and Alice are here as his, as emissaries of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Because this digital economy agenda is an integral component of the president's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. During the campaigns, the president himself, the deputy president, who are then our presidential candidate and running met respectively for the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, had consultative meetings all over the country, talking to the people, the youth inclusive, and one of the challenges that the youth unequivocally stated wanted to be addressed by the Kenya Kwanzaa government was the issue of data, internet connectivity, lack of computers. So what we are rolling out here is basically the government's response based on the promises that we made to the people during the campaign. So this digital laboratories we are launching today is an integral component of President Ruto's digital super highway. We are operationalizing these digital laboratories in the Tibet. We are operationalizing them in the villages. Before we came here, we were at Madioya. Tomorrow, we will be in three institutions in Siaya, and Homer Bay County, respectively. So we are doing this all over the country. And as ministers, cabinet secretaries in the Ruto government, we have been given instructions by the president himself, as Mwishmewa Halisa said, to serve all parts of the country indiscriminately. We are setting up these digital laboratories. We are connecting free Wi-Fi hotspots to market, 25,000 of them in total. And we are also rolling out fiber, enhancing fiber connectivity to those parts of the country that hitherto had not been connected. And as we do this, Michuki here will be connected. We will bring fiber here, madam, so that these students can have an interrupted access to reliable, stable, and free internet. That we will do to enhance the level of efficiency and effectiveness within this great institution. Now, the purpose of this digital laboratory is twofold. One, we want you to learn digital skills because today you are not attractive in the job market if you don't have basic digital skills. But two, complementarily, we also want you to leverage on those digital skills for digital jobs. As government, we are bringing the devices, we are bringing the technical people to train you, we are connecting the internet, and we are also going a step further to liaise with global technological companies to give you digital jobs. So you will be a learner and an earner at the same time. This is the program. 
translates you from a learner to an instant learner and an instant earner. And you have been told that you will be earning in dollars up to an equivalent of 200,000 shillings per month. So take this training very, very seriously. Take this program very, very seriously because it may be the game changer in your life. Are we together good people? Yes. Take this training extremely seriously as government will create the enabling environment for you, but you must be committed, you must be dedicated, and you need to know that over and above the normal schooling program, this program will give you jobs, and this program will give you adequate resources to look after yourself, look after your younger siblings, and support your aging parents. As government, we are not going to operate the same moving forward. We are going to run a paperless government. That is why we are digitizing government records and digitalizing government services. All government services will be available on digital platforms moving forward. The other thing that we are doing is to ensure that everybody in this country is going to have affordable smartphones, starting with you students. We have embarked on that program. We have partnered with the private sector, specifically the telecommunication companies, and we have embarked on the program of current and development expenditures. So we will again move, transition, from being beggars to a self-sustaining economy relying on its own resources. And this recalls for leadership. And we are lucky that we have got a president who is exhibiting leadership from the top. Determined, focused, and all of us are aligned and we are ready to follow suit so that we change this country once and for all. We'll keep on supporting you. We will bring the fiber connectivity, as I've said. We have taken note of the fact that you are a critical mass in terms of numbers of students here and we will monitor the utilization of those computers. The moment we realize that you are using them effectively, we will bring more computers. <laughs> Other issues which have been raised by the local member of parliament, we liars with him. Those ones which are pertaining to Ministry of Education, together with my sister here, Alice, we will reach out to our brother Ezekiel Majogu, and sooner than later, we will come back here with Majogu. Sasa tukirudi, tutarudi na computer zingine, tutarudi na maji, tutarudi na bus. Are we together? That is how William Ruto government operates. That is how we work and that is how we want to move forward. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Asante sana, Bwana Waziri, even for the promises umeakikisha kwamba hizo zingine ambazo zimekuja hapo mbele utafuatiliza. Kwa sasa tuko na jambo kidogo because tunaenda kwa vote of thanks and I kindly request the administrators to come here. I can see my deputies are here. Kindly come as the person coming to give the vote of thanks comes forward. Karibuni na ketini to part a vote of thanks. Kindly have your seats. Thank you. I want to take this opportunity also to introduce the lieutenants. And with me here are the deputy principals that I work with, our chief guest. We are Madam Grace, the deputy academic. Let us appreciate her. We have also the Deputy Principal Administration check, check. who also works with us in the areas of management when I'm not around. And of course our Able MC is the registrar. Thank you so much. Karibu sana Madam Lona for the vote of thanks. God is good. And all the time. God is good. Our Chief Guest, Honorable Elliot Owalo. 
our their company cabinet secretary, Honorable Alice Wahome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our chairman of the board of governors, our principal, all other protocols observed. Good evening. I'm incredibly honored to extend a vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion on behalf of Michuki Technical. We want to extend our sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Honorable Eliud Owalo, for choosing our institution as a partner in equipping our lab to be part of the creation of one million jobs for the youth. We want to extend our sincere gratitude to Honorable Alice Kuahome, the Cabinet Secretary of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, for gracing us with your presence and for even giving us good news as you have graced us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. Um, I'd like to appreciate the Senator from Oranga, John Nyoto. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate. We recognize. <laughs> you, you seem to be very loud. <laughs> yes. Uh, we appreciate the Konza Technopolis for being enablers in this project. We extend our gratitude to the Ministry of Education under the ministry, uh, under the department of Tiveta. We want to appreciate and recognize the MP for Dagoreti South, Honorable John Kiarie, who is also the chair for the ICT Parliamentary Committee. We appreciate you, we recognize you. We want to thank um, our area MP, Honorable Peter Kihungu, thank Kihungi, thank you very much. Um, we appreciate you. Um, and uh, we are continue. We continue working with you, uh, especially in the area of sponsoring needy students. And even in this project, we'll continue partnering with you to empower the youth of the community of Moranga County with digital skills for employability. We extend our gratitude to the County Commissioner, Moranga County, and the local administration for partnering with us to offer security and ensuring we are safe. We acknowledge and appreciate the Area MCA, the County Director of Education, representatives of the Government of Moranga, the County Principals present, Secondary School and Primary School Principals present. We extend our sincere gratitude to the members of the Board of Governors for their oversight role. We want to appreciate the Michuki technical management and the trainers for uh, being the hosts for the day and for such a beautiful function. We extend our gratitude to our trainees. You have been very patient with us. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And we also appreciate you for embracing the Jitume online jobs creation concept that will empower you to create income for livelihoods. We extend our gratitude to the community and the people of Iego and Kangema constituency and Muranga at large for their continued support and owning this institution. You are our ambassadors. Please, as you go home and as we depart. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, we are having an intake, they know the place to come. The place is where? Michuki Technical, because we are leaders in technical, vocational, and entrepreneurial training. Thank you very much.